What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and today we'll be talking about Overprime's recently released gameplay footage centered around the Fae. She was one of my most played heroes in Paragon, if, if not the most played hero. Uh, it, it'd be a tough race between her and Richter. Needless to say, I'm pretty excited about her addition to the Overprime roster. It does seem like they've made a few small changes to her kit, but I think these small changes will have a pretty big effect on how she's played. Let's take a closer look at the footage and point out some of the things that I noticed. First off, I really like her basic attack animations. Soli seems to have chosen to accentuate the follow through which makes the overall attack animation look both more fluid and lend some weight to the attack itself. The only thing missing here is the little flowers her attacks would leave on the target. The first ability we see used is Untamed Growth. This is her right click ability that places an AOE plant on the ground that deals small ticks of damage leading to a large explosion when the spores pop. While this is visually interesting, the main thing I want to point out here is that this ability now applies a slow one hit. Untamed Growth didn't apply a slow in Paragon. As anyone who has ever played the Fae will tell you, getting people to stay in the radius of the growth for that final burst of damage is a pain in the ass. The slow that it applies in Overprime appears to be very short duration and certainly won't be enough to keep people immobile long enough for the uh, for the final explosion when placed directly on the target, but I still think that this is going to be a big boost for people that know how the Fae works. Untamed Growth is an area denial tool that can be used offensively to block an enemy's path back to their tower or, uh, or placed in the way of any teammates that are come to assist. If you put this between a, uh, a fleeing enemy and their destination with the slow baked in, they have to run across that full area while being soft CC'd, and that may be all you need to hit them with that final pop. You can also use her right click defensively when, when being ganked. You just place it on top of yourself so an enemy juggler has to sit in the damage if they want to damage you. Having a slow will of course increase the efficacy of that strategy. Something else that, it, that occurred to me is that Untamed Growth will be brutal when hitting an enemy in travel mode. They'll be rooted in the damage and that's, uh, that's pretty cool. The final point I want to make with Untamed Growth is that it'll give all the support phase an extra option to defend their ADC. I personally played her almost exclusively mid lane, but I know a lot of people love to play phase support, and I'm sure they won't frown at getting a slow on Untamed Growth. Next up is Brambles. This is the line of vines that the Fae throws down with her Q that deals damage and slows. In Paragon, the line stayed on the ground for a while, and even if you didn't directly hit someone with this, they would still take an instance of damage if they walked into it, and they were slowed as long as they tried to walk through it. The big difference with Overprime's Brambles is that it deals persistent damage. In Paragon, you got one hit, either with a direct Bramble shot or them walking over it, but once they took that damage, they wouldn't take it again. You can see the Overprime Brambles continue to deal damage to both heroes and minions as long as they're standing in it. Looks to be about four ticks of damage max. This is going to give the face some extra wave clear, extra hero damage, and will significantly add to her Wabo Combo Ultimate. I personally always felt that the face true bread and butter ability was Harvest Nettles. This is the low cooldown, long range, straight line skill shot bound to her E. I really only noticed one change of this between Paragon and Overprime. It still refunds mana upon hitting a hero, which is like the main reason this ability was always so effective. Sure, heroes like Gideon and Belica have their big haymaker abilities, but the Fae can always outbox them by just sitting back and hitting them with jab after jab with the nettles. The change I see here is that it also seems to refund mana against PvE objectives. I didn't see her use this on a lane minion, but you can clearly see her getting her mana back when she uses nettles on like the, the side Roka buffs and the Prime Spirit. This won't make a huge difference in the long run, but it'll be nice to contribute as much damage as possible to objectives without worrying about your mana. And finally, we have the ultimate, Flytrap. The Fae places down a large AoE, and after a short duration, anything that was in the area when it was cast gets snatched back to the center by some vines, and they take damage. This seems to work exactly like it did in Paragon, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. I do think it's going to be easier to get maximum efficacy now because of uh, Brambles dealing multiple ticks of damage. Uh, you can slow someone with Untamed Growth, hit them with the Brambles, throw down the Flytrap, and they get sucked right back into that Bramble damage and then eat that Untamed Growth Pop, all while you're beating them in the face with the Nettles. That's it for the Fae and Overprime. Please remember that these videos are early showcases from Soul Leave, and what you see here may or may not make it into the final product. 
As a fae aficionado, I personally really want to see these changes stick. She gets the same kit that I know and love, just better. Like the video if you enjoyed it, sub for more third-person MOBA content, but for now, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangu! Special shout out to channel members iBloodHunter, Jelly Knees, Meow Mix for Men, Blastoise King, Raven, and Clorox TV.